Hey everybody, hope you guys doing alright. So like in regards to fighting, like power versus speed, um, let me say this, I, I, having power, I think it's all good. Like you want to have speed, you want to have power, and you want to have precision <clears throat> and agility and capability and gas, endurance. But like in, in certain situations, like for Bruce Lee, like he's seen as, you know, arguably some people are going to say he's the best fighter that ever lived the planet. And he's really, really fucking good. Like I haven't gone too deep into all the best fighters, so I, I wouldn't be the best judge of that. But from what I see, he does seem to have something rather extraordinary or supernatural is fighting fucking abilities <clears throat> just his speed and his quickness his precision like the way he flows with himself and the energies and like you know becomes you know he's becoming one with the art is what it looks like and you can just it's just masterful everything that he does when he's when he's doing his thing um he's in the prime i don't know how he is right now i think he's still alive actually by the way <clears throat> but anyway let me just continue on here so like you know having strength though like i was considering from bruce lee's standpoint what would be the one thing that if i got if he got into a real fight with numerous people perhaps surrounding him like the speed's great, but if somebody grabs you behind the back with their giant, strong fucking arms and, like, you know, pulls you back and lifts you off the ground, you're not, even with all your power, with, even with all your speed and technique and skill and all those, you know, fucking beautiful things that you have, you're not going to be that able to use it because you're literally being lifted off the ground, you know, with your hands completely fucking intertwined behind you, which is a very painful position to do by somebody who could be three times, if not more times, stronger than you. Um, so, you but... It, you know, but so the, even the bigger you are, you're going to weigh more. So it's going to be harder to do that anyways. But <clears throat> even like, you know, I mean, somebody could just do that really quick, but that would take a little bit of arm wrestling around and body maneuvering around to get somebody in that position. So like somebody who had a little bit more power that had that happen to, they would be better able to like maneuver their body away from that and out of that position as opposed to somebody like Bruce Lee, who's uh, main thing is like his quickness and his speed and his agility. Now, however, with, by, by, while saying that though, like he, as soon as he feels that arm come upon him, he could, with those super fast reflexes, possibly move it quick enough and jerk it maybe around enough to to lose to uh, have the other person lose grip, which would free him. Um, so again, even as I say that, like something just comes around and like it really, I think it really is all about the speed. It, you know, is is one of the biggest things you want is as well as precision speed and precision and also enough power to pack a punch and, you know but as you can see from him he, he hits fucking hard as hell and he's a fucking skinny ass dude from the i mean he's pretty small like he's not somebody big at all really i mean he's had different sizes but his main size is more around thickness i mean ripness to density like just very dense quick well trained and fucking endured muscles that have just spent a lot of time doing the same fucking thing and have gotten really fucking good at it so, all right, and also that's another thing, you just can, he, like, that type of style, like, that endurance and all that, like, that, that many hours just consistently doing it, getting yourself that much more prepared for a long battle, like, you can just keep on going, where some of these stronger dudes, um, they tire out quick. <clears throat> the last job, or one of the last jobs I was at with a cart, with, uh, with working for somebody on day labor, they, um, <clears throat> the lead dude there, he was this big-ass dude, I think he used to bench, like, 350 or something, and he likes to martial arts and shit, so we talked for a little bit, <clears throat> Anyway, he was telling me, though, he had a power lift to come and work for him. He's, he's a contractor, so he worked, we're used to working, like, all fucking, like, 12 hours. I mean, as many hours as needed to get the job done for that day needs to get done. Um, so he's used to hard-ass fucking work all the time, construction-type work. Um, and he hired a power lifter to come and work on his fucking site because he was like, oh, they're probably going to be good at construction because they can heavy lift heavy shit. And he told me, or I overheard him talking, that uh, I wasn't, like, eavesdropping. I was just walking around the bend. He was talking to somebody else. But I heard him say that that power lifter only lasted for, like, an hour like after moving some shit around for half an hour he just got tired and was like i can't do this i'm leaving I'm leaving <clears throat> so <clears throat> whereas I've, I've at least done the type i mean even just doing the simple shit like moving gear around like all that like he wasn't able to do that and it's, i think a lot of that's because they don't have the same endurance as some of these other people like myself who have a lot of cardio experience and people like bruce lee have cardio experience and like basketball players are probably one of the best examples boxers too they're, they're i think they are the number one sh uh best they're there to be a boxer to be a great boxer would be i mean nobody's in better shape than boxers is what i'm trying to say so anyways that but in, in a lot of boxing has to do with running like it's footwork being able to go those rounds stand up getting hit like that all, that all gases you out so going to back to my original point is like having more gas like running that's why some people will say i think it was even joe rogan who said that running is, is looked at some by some people as the best thing you can do to train for a fight because it's all about you getting that gas, you know, you're getting your legs strong by moving your body, especially cross country. You're putting it all through different, all different types of terrain, so it's growing in all different types of ways. Um, but you're getting that, you're, more than anything, you're charging that gas. So you're getting your endurance that much higher up, that you know, that much quicker. Is what I've seemed to notice when in regards to running, <clears throat> especially if you push yourself. So, all right, I love you all. Take care. Bye.